there are only a few times in a woman's life when she is looking forward to the weight gain pregnancy is one such beautiful time when weight gain is a sign of things going normal inside do you know an average woman gains about 9 to 15 kgs weight in her pregnancy but the baby is just about 3 kgs where does the rest of the weight comes from oh my god how will i get rid of this weight So hello everyone I'm Dr Anjali Kumar I'm a gynecologist and obstetrician and I bring greetings to you from Maitri Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health So continuing once again with our pregnancy series today let's talk about this weight issue Where does the pregnancy weight gain comes from Your baby on an average may weigh anything between 2.5 to 3.5 kg. Now that accounts for some of your pregnancy weight gain, but what about the rest? So the growing large uterus accounts for about 1 to 1.5 kg of weight gain. The placenta weighs about 0.7 to 1 kg. So placenta is an organ which connects the mother and the baby so it's a big circular organ which is attached to the top of the uterus the amniotic fluid in which the baby is floating around also could be anything between 1 to 1.5 liters did you know a pregnant woman has about 2 to 2.5 liters of extra blood circulating in her body There is also increased water retention in the body. This could account for 1 to 1.5 kilograms of weight gain. The larger breasts also account for 0.5 to 1.5 kilograms of weight gain. There could be extra fat stores only 2.5 to 3.5 kilograms. Now this totals up to roughly about 10 to 12 kgs. So most important remember it is weight gain it is not just the fat gain this much weight gain is required in a healthy pregnancy if you do not gain this much weight this could mean that either the growth of the baby is compromised or some important components like the amniotic fluid the blood volume etc may be compromised which is not a great thing to happen in pregnancy So what is the desirable weight gain in pregnancy which means how much weight should i gain in pregnancy So it actually depends upon your pre-pregnancy weight and BMI How can you calculate your BMI So BMI is nothing but weight in kilograms divided by square of height in meters You can easily calculate your BMI with any calculators available online So in case you've been underweight before the start of the pregnancy which means that your BMI was below 18.5 the recommended weight gain for you is between 13 to 18 kg in case you were of healthy weight which means that your BMI was between 18.5 to 24.9 the recommended weight gain for you is 11 to 16 kg In case you were overweight before you started your pregnancy which means BMI of 25 to 29.9 now the recommended weight gain is just about 7 to 11 kg in case you were obese which means that your BMI was more than 30 the recommended weight gain for you is only 5 to 9 kg in case obviously if you're carrying twins then these numbers will have to be higher remember a balanced a nutrient rich diet along with moderate exercise and physical activity is the key for the healthy pregnancy weight gain for most of the pregnant women the right amount of calories are in the first trimester only 1800 calories in the second trimester 2200 calories and in the third trimester 2400 calories remember you have to eat for two but you don't have to eat double i'm not putting on weight in the first trimester when will i put on weight 
I know this is the most common query which I also get to see in the patients when they come to me in the first trimester. In the first trimester, most people do not gain much weight. In fact, many women, as many as 85% lose weight in the first trimester. That's perfectly all right. Do not worry, you would eventually gain weight. It's only in the second and the third trimester that the steady weight gain starts to happen. You will now gain roughly about 0.5 kilograms every week until delivery. I am gaining too much weight. So gaining too much weight during pregnancy, which is more than the recommended weight gain, can increase your baby's risk of being born with a larger size, which means a bigger size baby. A bigger size baby is obviously difficult to deliver with many complications at the time of birth. There is something known as shoulder dystocia, which means that the baby's shoulders get stuck at the time of delivery. Increased chances of cesarean delivery, instrumental deliveries. Did you also know that bigger babies have a higher chance of developing obesity when they grow up in their adult life? Uh, increased weight gain in pregnancy can also be a sign of excessive water retention, high blood pressure and pre-eclampsia. And the biggest problem with the increased weight gain is how will I be able to lose such weight gain after delivery? So now few tips how to avoid gaining too much of weight during pregnancy. Number one, start pregnancy at a healthy weight or BMI if possible. Always eat balanced meals. Drink enough water. Be mindful of your cravings. A Belgium chocolate ice cream at 2 a.m. in the middle of the night is more likely to be adding to your inches uh, to your waist than the baby's weight. Always choose complex carbohydrates which is like roti, rice, uh, breads, homemade food. Uh, avoid having added sugars, solid fats, processed and packaged foods. Be active and start a simple walking routine. This is the simplest exercise which every pregnant woman must do every day. Try and enroll yourself in a prenatal class or maybe a prenatal yoga class. Uh, in fact, most of the scientific bodies recommend that a pregnant woman must be active for minimum 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity per week. What if I do not gain the recommended weight in pregnancy? So less than optimum weight gain increases the risk of fetal growth retardation. This means that the baby could be born smaller in size. The baby's growth or the baby's weight is less than optimum. The babies which are born too small may have difficulty starting breastfeeding, may be at a higher risk of many illnesses, infections and might experience developmental delays. So what are these? This is not meeting their expected growth milestones uh, for their age. So some fun fact. Do you gain more weight when you're pregnant with a boy? So it's actually true. Women carrying a male fetus have significantly increased maternal weight gain during pregnancy when compared to women with a female fetus. Can I try to lose fat when pregnant? So in the past, as doctors, we did not want to promote weight loss during pregnancy for women with obesity also because it was thought that it would not be good for the baby. But now the new research shows that the women with obesity can safely exercise and diet to lose weight without any negative impact on their baby's well-being. So if you've been struggling with your weight in the past, it might be hard for you to accept that it is okay to gain weight now. It is normal to feel anxious as the numbers on the scale edge up. Keep in mind that you must gain weight for a healthy pregnancy. The extra pounds gained will eventually come off after you've had your baby. 
a healthy diet and a regular exercise during pregnancy and after delivery are your best bets to ensure a healthy pregnancy and baby and early recovery to a fitter you. So today, if you found this information reassuring and useful, please spread this video with your friends and family, especially those who are on their family way. Till then, take care and I'll see you soon with some more exciting information about women's health.